Hi, I'm Peter Knight, one of the Van Lynch coaches here at Yarraben Golf Course. I want to talk today about being good and getting better. And that's an attitudinal thing. If you think I have to be such and such, I, you know, I have ambition to be the greatest player in the world, through to I want to be my club champion, through to I want to break 100 for the first time. That's fine, but then you need to get your thinking from there into the, the process of how am I going to do that. It's about continually getting better. And that's quite an attitudinal shift. One is where you're putting pressure on yourself to think I have to do something or I want to do something. And then you're always measuring against that. Anytime you don't achieve that level, then you can, eat, you can perceive that as being a failure. Whereas if your attitude is actually I want to continue to get better, then eventually you'll reach all those goals anyway. But then any sign of improvement, your spread of shots in a practice session, your, the number of greens you hit, uh, on average across a period of a month or so. As long as those numbers are improving, you are getting better. They may not be where you ultimately want to be, but if you keep that attitude about every time, I want to do a little bit better. This month, I want it to be better than last month. Uh, this year, I want to be better than last year. Next year, I want to be better than this year. It's a much healthier attitude to have, and you will actually work and accept small increments of improvement. From a day-to-day -day perspective, your golf performance is gonna go up and down and fluctuate wildly. And again, if you're assessing your overall performance against your, your major outcome, against your day-to-day -day progression, then your confidence, your levels of frustration are gonna go up and down. So have a look at what's happening over a period of time, and then just have that attitude every day, I'm gonna do something to get better, even in the smallest amount, because those smallest amounts over time do add up.